So I recently looked at Ghost BSD, and it was good. I liked it. And if I ever get that list of software that I use available to me on BSD, that's probably the way I'd go. Nice and easy. It would be nice to have a choice of desktop environment, but I'm sure that's something that Eric will look at one day down the line. Maybe, hopefully. There are other alternatives, and we're going to look at one of them today. Midnight BSD. Okay, so I have got my little PC started. Uh, it's booted from the USB. Let's have a look at it, shall we? Let's install. Where are we? Oh, yeah. UK. Uh, let's see. I need the kernel debug, but we'll have the tests. UFS. Auto ZFS. I'm not using UFS. To me, UFS doesn't give you the options. Ow. The options that I find really helpful. So we're going to use ZFS or ZFS if you're in America. Let's change that to UEFI. Let's K Hynix. Proceed. Right, let it fetch its distributions. I assume this is fetching over the internet, or is it fetching from the disk? I don't know. Extracting, 75 on the base, 76, 77. This is not a particularly powerful computer. It's only a dual core something. Pentium, I would imagine. Modern one, but Pentium all the same. Password. So far, this is all very much FreeBSD's installer, just with a different name. Doesn't see Wi-Fi. Yeah, why not? THCP. Is it going to ask about IPv6? Yes, it is. Okay, that's good. Meow. United Kingdom. Yep. It's April 17th. It is 10.46. Should have been doing this ages ago. We have local unbound. Interesting. Don't want that. Don't really want that. Multicast DNS. Hmm. Disable send mail. So I'm going to say this is based on FreeBSD 13 something. Yeah, why not? Yeah, we'll add a user. Yeah, this is definitely based on 13, I think. There's more shells there than I remember seeing on 14. Uh, a directory for permissions, yep. Yep, yep, yep. No. Yes. No. And that should be it. Installation is finished. No. Reboot. So I'm going to pull out my USB. Sinking disks. Donk. USB is now out. That was fairly innocuous, that install. Nice and easy. Very familiar. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we get. Okay. UK. Pierre, why not? Would you like to activate monthly reporting? Sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ravenport's an alternative package manager. Yeah, why not? Now, I don't know much about Midnight BSD. I don't know if it's a desktop environment or you've got to install one. We should soon find out, I guess. Not exactly a deal breaker if you've got to install one, but for some of... Uh, do you wish to enable a graphical... There we go, see. Yes. DRM Kmod for AMD or Intel. Yes, I'm on Intel. So I wonder what graphical... No. Actually, I don't know if it... I'm going to install it anyway because I'm not sure if it's got graphic, uh, Intel graphics. Oh. Or NVIDIA. So we'll install both. 
Okay. We can do that. I wonder what environment it's installed. I would imagine it's a, a lightweight one. It's either going to be GNOME, which is not lightweight. Actually, I had no idea. Anyone want to place a bet? Don't bet. Gambling is not my thing. Let's see. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, there is no graphical user interface here. Okay, maybe I've still got to install it. Ah. Uh. Uh, M port install xorg. When it said that it was going to activate it for me, I thought it would do all of this. <clears throat> it's not a problem. It's not a deal breaker, you know. Getting your hands dirty. Don't mind that. I think we'll go with XFCE. XFCE4. Really? Interesting. Okay, let's install mlogin D. ETC. TTYS. TTY. What is that? B8. No. Oh. Right, there we go. Okay, so change that to. User local bin xdm no daemon xterm off secure. Okay, and save because that's already done. All right, so we reboot now. See what we get. See what happens. Hey. And it crashed out of it. Yeah. Suspect I know why. Oh, that's really annoying. Oh. <clears throat> I hate this kind of crap. Why does it have to do this? Do you know what I mean? Okay. So it's still not running X. See, I find this really annoying. Because on a standard FreeBSD desktop, this would be working. But it has worked there, so that's, that's good. So, next. So, what's next? Well, we need to put the... the exit file in, so... So, let's bleach it away in the right I guess. Remember, I haven't got XOR installed properly. Maybe the most recent version of the NVIDIA driver doesn't work with what's in that. And I'm pretty sure it's NVIDIA. Well, that's annoying. I might have to do a bit more looking into that because, quite frankly, I don't know what version of graphics is on this at the moment. Might have to come back and review this another time. That's annoying. Yeah, we're coming back to this another time. It's just... I'll probably be here all day trying to sort that out, so... As is often the theme on my channel, lots of failures. Slightly annoying. Never mind. Don't forget to visit the Discord server, links in the description, and drop a comment. And let me know what you would do in this situation, because I can't actually see 
what graphics chipset I've got in this. So I might have to install um, Ghost BSD to find out because at least that works and works really well. It's annoying. Very annoying. Take care. See you in the next video. I'm out.